Welcome back to Bear Grounds Homestead. Well, in case you haven't figured it out, guess what time of year it is. We no, lo no longer get our first bout of snow to melt, then this is what we get last night. So this will hang around for a day or two. But um, yeah, I've got heat lamps on, everything that needs it. I've got a pile of wood on the front of the cabin because we're steadily burning it up trying to keep that old drafty cabin warm. I mean, it's like, we're supposed to go down to like 12 degrees by morning. So, yeah, it's a little, a little chilly. But not bad enough, you know. I mean, it's not like we got two feet of snow like some of the people up north. But this is pretty decent for middle Tennessee. But one good thing about this weather, Carmen sure makes some good bread. <laughs> Man, she's been making this apple walnut and currant bread. Boy, that stuff. I don't care how you eat it as a sandwich, put a little, warm it up, put a little butter on it, you might as well be eating fruitcake. But of course, she's made, some, made me some fruitcake too, so that's even better. the inexpensive shower cap that I got for like 99 cents for 10 of them at Walmart not affiliated at all uh, I use them because I can rinse them out and reuse them and they work really well because they go over bowls but once we get our dough rose and it's doubled in size it's gonna be sticky this was very sticky it was late at night put my parchment down because I didn't want to make a huge mess and I got my flour out because you're going to want to scrape it out and you're going to want to get it on a well floured surface. Oh, a Dutch oven. Put your Dutch oven in a cold oven. You're going to preheat your oven to 450 degrees with your Dutch oven inside lit on. Um, when 
the dough we're gonna after we get it out we're gonna just fold it over a few times this is a no knead dough so once it's folded over a few times we're gonna take the parchment and all and put it into the Dutch oven and that's how we're gonna bake it however the dough is gonna be sticky <laughs> and I had an issue with this I did not put down as much flour as I should have as you can tell I very lightly sprinkled it on I was tired I wasn't paying attention and I'm trying to get it to just unstick from the parchment I don't you don't want to have a dough that's sticking to your hands or sticking to the parchment paper you just want a dough that's going to be it's gonna still be tacky but you just don't want it sticking completely like that I should have sprinkled it liberally but I didn't so I'm trying to again get it off the parchment paper here it's not end-all be-all by the way I used apples dried apples and dried currants in this bread I didn't do the walnuts this time I skipped it not because I don't like it just because I it was late and I didn't want to chop them up but this bread is really good y'all it's really good for sandwiches especially if you have leftover uh, cranberry sauce from Thanksgiving or Christmas you just spread a little on there put your meat on there toast it up warm it up it is it's really really good um, I've we've been eating this for breakfast we've been eating it as a side with our dinner and we've been eating it for lunches during the day uh, because it's no need bread it's really quick to make and it's really really good once I got it to where I needed it to though I covered it over you just cover it up I used just a clean towel and you're gonna let it rise for 30 minutes while your Dutch ovens heating once your Dutch oven has heated you're going to very carefully remove it from your oven you're gonna remove the top you're gonna put the parchment paper in all I like grabbing opposite corners and dropping it in there and that's what works I take a razor blade and I score the top this is gonna help it so you don't have a big blowout for oven spring you're going to replace the top and you want to make sure the top is fitting tightly once it's fitted tightly you're going to slide it back into your oven and you're going to bake it for 25 to 30 minutes i did it for 25 minutes it came out slightly browned you remove the top you put back in for 10 more minutes and then it's out of the oven once you're at that point you take it out you put it on a cooling rack and you let it well, cool it's only about 26 degrees and that's about as warm as it's gotten today so hey if you like us hit like subscribe leave comments <laughs> all right well i guess we're gonna take it inside where it's a little warmer so have a good week try to stay warm